Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody for showing support on the Amazon giveaway video. Definitely a lot of positive comments. Definitely appreciate all of the uh, comments and support you guys have given the channel over the last uh, one to two years here. Definitely appreciate that. For you guys who don't know, I'm doing an Amazon giveaway for all the viewers on my channel. Basically, to be registered for the giveaway, all you have to do is comment on that video. I'll put a link in the description down below here. Just comment in that video, Robin Hood 10,000, be a subscriber, like the video. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll do an update video detailing who uh, gets the uh, Amazon gift cards. And the way I'll be doing that is basically putting that video into a random YouTube comment picker and picking out five different subscribers for uh, Amazon gift card. Uh, I'm gonna try to do that live. I'm gonna try to set up uh, the live streaming to do that live. I think that'll be kind of fun to do. If you guys can't tune in for the live stream, I'll definitely record that video and post it so you guys can uh, tune in at any time to see who the uh, winners for the giveaway are. But that's going to be probably in a few months here until we hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you want to register for that giveaway, go ahead and uh, click on the link below or just search through my videos, Amazon giveaway video. Again, put a comment in that video, Amazon 10,000, and you'll be registered for the giveaway. Today I just wanted to quickly jump into my portfolio during active hours trading. Uh, rarely you get to do this. Had some time, so I thought I would do that. Been doing some four-day trades today. As you guys know, I love doing four-day trades. Kind of uh, like a penny stock as it's a very low price stock, but unlike a penny stock, it comes from a blue chip company. So if I can't get out of any of these trades, I'm more than happy to hold this long term. And if I need to, even up to years. Uh, I have that much confidence in the stock. It's got a great dividend, as you guys know as well. So you can collect that dividend while you wait to get out of a particular trade. Um, and I think it's a little bit undervalued as well. A contrarian investor uh, will love the stock, I believe. Again, this is my opinion only. Um, you know, over the last five years or so, it hasn't really, you know, gained any value. But if you look at its uh, financials, it's been having record profits over the last, you know, two to three years. Generates profits in the billions you know that's quite significant it sells millions of cars a year but still it's been trending down here and a lot of that has to do with the confidence in the management the, the management has changed so i'm anticipating the stock to a uh, trend up here but again this is a longer term play i like to do some day and swing trades with it but it is a long term play uh just to detail some of my trades today as you guys know i like to do small trades i'm not trying to hit home runs with my day or swing trades by any means you can see here done two trades so far today you can see on the bottom there my uh, video trying to explain to you guys how to put in limit buy and limit sell orders those were fulfilled made five cents on that one trade there you can see here I put a limit buy in 1131 550 shares sold off 1132 550 just having some fun made five dollars or so did it again as well 1130 550 shares sold it off again 550 shares at 1132 so made about you know $15 or so between the two trades $5 trade $11 trade put another limit buy in at 1130 that's a pretty aggressive uh, order there I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to buy it at that price uh, it's trended down to 1131 so maybe I'll be able to jump in again I'll try to pick that up at 1130 or so and then sell off 1133 1132 just having some fun been doing that for months and months and months just making five ten dollar trades here and there every once in a while i'll do a fifty dollar trade uh, i'll do uh, uh, some trades with portola as well just want to update you guys on a swing trade i did with portola you see on the bottom here i did a trade market buy on the 19th 971.75 then sold those shares off on the second here uh 1087.50 so made about 115 116 dollars or so on that trade Again, those have been, have been my two most popular stocks to do this with, uh, Portola and Ford. Uh, I like doing trades with these type of companies because if I can't get out of a trade, I'm more than happy to hold that longer term. If this was a penny stock, not sure I would be willing to hold it as long as I had. You know, that Portola play, held it for a week or so. Ford here, as you guys know, it's been trending down here a bit. It has popped up here in the last week or so, but over the last month, excuse me, the last three months here, it's, it's trending down here a bit. So... If I jumped in for a uh, day or swing trade here, for example, well, let's kind of back up here a bit. Uh, here, for example, and this isn't a great example, but 1229, you see it's kind of trending down here, so I can't really get out of that trade, but 
Uh, I'm more than happy to hold this stock longer term. I think it does have some long-term potential, one to two to five year potential. It's got, it's got a great dividend. So as you wait for that trade to be executed, again, this is a longer term perspective here. This isn't one day or one week or even one month. We're talking maybe a year to two years. Uh, the stock will trend up at some point. You can, you know, you see down here, it was 1093 or so when the uh, uh, CEO that just got uh, fired came to, uh, came into the company here. I was going to say office, but came into the company here. I guess executive office. It was $15, $16 the stock was trending at. It's kind of trended down. Even though they're making record profits, net profits, by the way, the company makes net profits, sells millions of cars per year. The overall value of the company has been going up, but the price of the stock has been going down. So I think this is a great contrarian investment right now. It's got a great dividend, as I said, and you can like to have some fun with some day and swing trades here as well. So yeah, just wanted to do a quick video here updating you guys on some of my day and swing trades. Uh, kind of with that, I'll end the video. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Again, if you guys have any good investment ideas, strategies, topics to read up on, let me know. I'll do a video about those or just how you guys are managing your portfolios. Let me know. Always interested to see how you guys are doing as well. So yeah, kind of with that, I'll end the video and we'll see you guys next time.